Orecchiette. This pasta shape isn't the easiest to pronounce, and it means small ears. All right, let's start by finally chopping up half of a small sweet onion and set that aside. And now I have a little story for you. My sister and I used to go to Italian school every Saturday morning growing up. And one time, my teacher brought me up to the class to pronounce and say what this word was, orecchia, which means ear, and is part of what this pasta shape is all about. And I couldn't do it, didn't know what it meant. So I sat back down, embarrassed, and at recess, I ran to my sister and cried to her. Story time is over. Now, let's finally slice or chop up two cloves of garlic and set that aside. Next up are the sausages. I have two medium sweet sausages, but go with whatever sausage you like for this recipe. Any kind will do. And with a knife, slice into the casing and remove the meat and crumble it into a bowl. Finally grate about 80 grams of Parmigiano Reggiano, a nice snowy mountain's worth. Time to cook. Add three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil to a pan on medium to high heat. Add the sausage and let it get brown and crispy. And as it cooks, with a wooden spoon, you can break up the sausage meat even more if you like. When the sausage is about 50% cooked, you can bring the heat down to medium. And now we're gonna add the onions, the garlic, and we're gonna season with salt and freshly cracked pepper. And don't forget to add chili flakes for some heat if you like. So this next step is optional. As the sausage is cooking, some of it's gonna to stick to the bottom of the pan and that's called fond. And we're gonna deglaze it with white wine. If you have it, if you don't, no worries. When we cook the pasta, we're gonna use some of the pasta water to deglaze as well. So if you want a little bit of extra flavor and you're down for it, just add in a little bit of wine. And we're gonna let that reduce and cook down. And now it's time to cook the pasta. Salt a large pot of boiling water and add your pasta. As the pasta cooks, you can add a ladle of pasta water to your pan. Take your pasta out a couple minutes before al dente and add it to the pan to finish cooking it in the sauce. And then la mantecatura it all up, mixing and tossing to incorporate everything, adding more pasta water if needed to help cook the pasta. Now we can add 150 grams of frozen peas, mixing and tossing. And then remove the pan from the heat or just turn off the heat. And now we're gonna add in the Parmigiano Reggiano, a handful at a time, mixing and tossing it all in to the pasta. And now we can plate it all up and finish with more freshly cracked pepper and Parmigiano Reggiano, obviously. And I think you know what time it is. This dish is not complex and can be put on the table in less than 30 minutes on a busy weeknight. So that's a plus. It's full of flavor thanks to the sausage and the sweetness of the peas. Plus the whole time you're making it, you can work on the pronunciation of orecchiette. So I hope you give it a go. And as always, the full recipe is in the description below. Please like and comment. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And until next time, ciao.